Hi, I'm Jake. I'm a senior at Mount Michael. Thanks. Um, I'm going to issue a trigger warning for um, sexual assault for this piece. Um, this is called PTSD. PTSD. My body still hurts in the places you touched me. Post-traumatic sensors that stretch across my skin like a wetsuit, unterrible, unbreakable. How am I supposed to explain to a silly boy why when he touches my lips, I pull back in a mind-induced heart attack to explain to my doctor why when he touched my bare shoulders, I shuddered as if he had just slid a nail across ice? How can I explain why I'm always running and always out of breath? Running away from anything that reminds me of your smile, your voice, your breath. I want to speak, but your fingers cover my my mouth and stifle my screams. I want to breathe, but your rough, dirty hand squeeze out any last bit of air I may have tasted. I want to run, but I, I want to run, but I feel you grab my ankle. I want to live, but you exist. I remember a 13-year-old boy staring into a white screen, reading words that said, "Trauma heals." I remember a 17-year-old boy screaming into a mirror because nothing really heals. How can I heal when your fingers are wrapping around my throat when you were choking out any bit of life I had in me, leaving my body on the floor, a marionette cut from its strings, twisted on the kitchen floor, crying for someone to help? That's where the story ends. The conclusion, the finale, my finish, the culmination. As the curtains roll down, the credits fall down. The screen turns black. But I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still screaming. I'm still beating your chest. I'm still fighting. I press my fingers against my chest to find a beat. And in the silence, I hear something. And the insignificance of that noise means everything. Yeah.